<laughs> as the door swings open. Sorry. That's so good. <laughs> Bound to happen. Um, so, Hex and uh, Drax, take it away. Uh, Hex and uh, uh, not Hex. Coral and Arrowfire are gonna come in uh, already kind of tipsy singing yo ho blow the man down and I look at him and go Fyra I don't think that means what you think it means really nor did I what mean that no no Wait a minute. You see that bartender over there? I think. Did you shag him once? Oh, I think you shagged him. Well, maybe we both did. Oh, man. That was that thunder from Down Under Night, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Maybe. I tell you what. We'll find out when we go up there. But their friends are up there. And I've got presents for them, so... Excellent. What do you say we head up there? Let's and, go. Uh, <laughs> to describe Coral real quick, she's a triton with baby blue, the, like the sea skin, scales on her arms and legs. She's got these fanned out fins where her ears would, uh, on a human would be, and very big, large blue eyes. She wears chain mail that kind of matches the scales to her skin. And that's what Coral looks like. Arrowfire is an elf and he's wearing red, red like cloak over the top of um, leather and it looks very flamboyant and he's got bright yellow boots. He's got loot in one hand and a crossbow hanging off his backpack with a small drum at the back, which he's constantly tapping. And he's just sort of wandering along, tapping to his own beat. Oh, oh, Arafar, that reminds me, I can give you a gift first. I know it's a little bit intimate, but he says you were, you've worn yours out. So I got you a G-string. Don't laugh. And I pull out a, uh, coiled up g-string for his loot then the uh <laughs> you were missing it you can thank me later excellent thank you he takes it and he ties it off to the end of his loot so it's obvious and hanging off the end of his loot um, i think i'm gonna approach the uh bar and I've got like my backpack out and I'm gonna go, okay, Rainier, I got you. Uh, now the marketplace lady said that this was from your homeland, which is cool because I didn't even know where you lived, but she said that she was a mystic. So here you go. And I put, I give him a rock uh, in the palm of his hand, like mother earth for you. And for you, Tensile, she said, since I don't think you take health potions, I'm not really sure. And I wanted to heal and help out. Uh, she said that this fixes everything. It's from the ducks of Mirkwood themselves. I didn't know Mirkwood had ducks, but you can just use it. And I pull out this tape. Uh, it's this duct tape for you. Uh, and you could just mend it. She says, like, she uses it on everything. And then for you, Kata, my little buddy, I got you a book on merfolk because I know you're always asking where I live. Page 81 is anatomically correct. You're welcome. <laughs> Here you go. Um, now everybody's covered, I think. And uh, I'll pay for the next round. And that's horrible. 